channel at home with Willowberry or if you're new welcome but where have you been I'm so happy to see you here my name is Valerie and in today's video we're gonna be doing some more repairs on this old mobile home that we're renting we're gonna be replacing the subfloor in the hallway and prepping and painting the door so if y'all are interested I hope you can stick around and enjoy the video The front door and hallway floor need a lot of work. There's no weather stripping around the door, so there's a huge gap between the door and the wall. Apparently water has been coming in through that gap for quite a long time because the subfloor is completely soft, spongy, and damp. So our goal for this video is to remove the old subfloor and replace it with new plywood. Then we're going to prep and paint the front door and apply new weather stripping. We'll be patching the walls, trimming the door, and painting the floor in another video. We were originally going to wait until spring to paint the door, but it's been quite warm here the last couple of days, so we decided to go ahead and paint it now. So the first thing I needed to do was clear out the hallway. Then I removed the old weather stripping that was going around the door that was serving no purpose at all. The door jam where the door locks at is broken and my husband's going to be repairing that so I need to remove the strike plates and then we'll start tearing up the old floor. using a multi-tool with a wood cutting blade to cut out the old laminate wood floor to gain access to the subfloor. Once we removed the flooring, we were able to assess the floor to see just how bad the damage was and see how much of the subfloor we would need to remove. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning you never know when it is over, over all that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away Our bodies move to the groove and the light that flickers We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker Get away, get away from the drinks and chatter Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter Feel the air gently Standing in a blurry dream No one else can see us Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning Know when it is over, over All that I know is build 
get older, older So let us dance this side away to put a double layer of weather stripping around the door so hopefully that will prevent water from coming in and damaging the new subfloor. I just can't get over the damage to the floors in this old mobile home. It's quite extensive. We've already replaced several sections of flooring throughout the trailer. We have this area in the hallway and in the master bathroom floor and then we'll be finished with replacing floors. Our next big project will be the laundry room wall and patching the walls around the front door and we'll also be installing vinyl flooring in the area by the front door. Okay, so once he's finished removing the old subfloor, then we'll be moving outside in order to cut the new plywood and 2x4s needed to repair the floor. Now he's attaching the 2x4s to the floor joist so that he'll have something to screw the new subfloor to. Once he's finished screwing in the 2x4s, then we'll be able to lay down the new subfloor and I won't have to worry about falling through this floor anymore.
after a couple of hours of hard work and we have a solid floor. I just hope the weather stripping that we're going to put around the front door will prevent water from getting in and damaging this floor. So next he's going to go ahead and cut a piece of very thin plywood to lay over the subfloor to even out the surface. The door jam is broken. Kind of looks like it's been busted down a few times. So my husband is going to cut out the broken piece of wood and replace it with a new piece. Later in the video, he'll be cutting out the holes for the strike plates to make the door more secure when it's locked. I'm going to be removing the doorknob and deadbolt and then scraping off what's left of the old weather stripping. Then we're going to sand down the door and door jam. The outdoor side of the door has a ton of chip paint that needs to be scraped off. And once we're finished with that, then it'll be time to start painting. We're using an indoor-outdoor paint and a semi-gloss finish. is just a call away you don't have to be afraid you don't have to be afraid to be afraid I'll keep you safe on night and day I'll be where you wanna be yes I'll be where you wanna be I'll be your man Just like from where it all began You're more than everything You're more than everything to me Maybe you promise Tell me you love me And that you'll never shut me out, out, out. To me you're a goddess Baby, let me show you what I'm about
that you always got a friend who was there when it all began and who be with you when it ends. When it ends. Oh, yeah. I'll be your rock, I'll be your man, just like from where it all. Shut me out, out, out To me you're a goddess Baby, let me show you what I'm about a coat of primer makes. I'm going to let that dry for an hour or so before I paint it with the semi-gloss paint. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and lay down the thin plywood over the subfloor. The subfloor is rough and uneven, so the plywood will make the surface smooth to walk on. Before laying down the plywood, I put down some all-purpose adhesive to glue the plywood to the subfloor, and then we screwed it into place.
it's now later in the evening, and my husband's going to go ahead and repair the door jam where the lock holes were broken. It amazes me with everything that he knows how to do, and I enjoy watching and learning from him. We might not know the exact right way that things should be done, but we managed to get it done anyway. It might not be perfect, but it gets the job done. important the weather stripping this is the whole reason the floor had to be repaired in the first place we're going to go ahead and apply weather stripping to the door itself and then later on we're going to attach an exterior weather stripping that screws to the door frame that about wraps it up for this video we'll come back with a part two when we're ready to lay down the vinyl flooring and patch the walls around the front door i tell you what there's always something to keep us busy around here so make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you won't miss out on my next upload thank you all so much for being here and spending some time with me and i hope to see you in my next video see y'all later bye